The first category we're going to award today is shop. Can I get a drum roll? All right, all right. Not many of you awake. All right, we'll work on this. This, um, for whatever reason, this category really has a lot of competition. We see very close results each year. This year, the winner is PJ Hyman. I look through the testimonial. Um, the people that come to the people that vote for shops have a lot to say. They're probably the most talkative group that I get. And the really nice piece of testimonial that I received was the selection, quality, creativity, and category depth at Village Arts and Gallery are simply top notch. I've never visited this shop and not found an artful treasure that delights me every time I view it. PJ is the best proprietor of a best shop. And I thought that was very strong. Next category is dining. This year, we actually have, a, for the first time, a partner that is winning for the third year in a row. That is a strong testament. Uh, that business is Boiling Springs Tavern, and I believe that Kevin might be here. You all love Boiling Springs Tavern, it is very clear. One of the pieces of testimonial that we received is the food is consistently cooked to perfection. The service is always welcoming and professional. The next category is attraction. This is a first time winner. Um, I'm always excited to announce those. This year, it is the U.S. Army Heritage and Education Center, and I know we have a selection of members. I'm surprised this is the first time this establishment has won, so I'm very, I was very proud to see this come through. The testimonial I got was something for everyone, history, learning, experience, and patriotism. Lodging. This year, the Carlisle House B&B won. Now, unfortunately, we already heard that all the B&B owners are at a conference, so Carolyn and Tim were not able to make it, but I did let them know, so if you want to call and congratulate them, they won't look at you like you're crazy. They'll understand what you're talking about. And the piece of testimonial for them was beautiful, historical, with modern updates, great location, and affordable. Our first new category, so this will be the first time we've ever awarded this, is outdoor attraction. This year, the winner is Pine Grove Furnace State Park. Um, the park currently does not have a manager, so we have Scott Hackenberg, Warren Baum, and Tamala uh, Nals here. And it turns out that the park's people, the outdoors people, aren't as talkative. The testimonial that I got for this one was walking trails, lake, and beautiful views. Apparently they were too busy outside to have time to write up something for me. Nightlife, again, this is the first time we will be awarding this category. This year, the winner is Molly Pitcher Brewing Company. I thought that I might get some testimonials after a few drinks and you know, see some spelling errors, but they were, they were good. Um, the one that I thought was the best was they provide a variety of locally crafted beers. Their environment is intimate and the service is great. The last category we'll be awarding today is event, and I have to tell you, I was very curious to see who would win. We have so many great events, I don't know that I would know who to vote for. This year's winner is Harvest of the Arts, so Glenn White. The testimonial received for this one is lots of great shopping and fun, things to see.